Hi, and welcome to this quick tutorial of the Intune Prep Tool. First, let's start off with the setup. Download the latest release under Releases. Uh, there you will find an MSI file. Download it. Keep. Keep anyway. Before installing it, please Check if the file need, needs to be unblocked. Unblocked, sorry. Yep. Then install it. After that, we should have the ancient prep tool in the start menu. Open it from administrator. Okay, so we get a pop-up to set execution policy and restrict it. The Intune prep, prep tool is generating a lot of scripts and uh, this setting is needed. So click yes. Reopen as an administrator. Ah, we need to install the required PowerShell models. Um, you can also get a pop-up if you uh, lack the requirement of WinCat or Chocolaty. Just press the button, wait till it opens. And click play. So this module is used for uploading the Intune Win32 app module. It's really great. Uh, I use it in the upload section here. And the graph modules for the uh, Enter ID app re registration. So, in the meantime, what you will need to know is um, you have to set up a customer first. Um, so you can click new, let's say go to Mars 2, and then you have to select a log folder target. This is, this is the folder where all the transcript logs on the engine endpoints are logging their logs to. So let's pick a customer name and place the logs there. This is the location where the uh, local packages are stored, uh, the ones we are creating with the Intune Prep Tool. And this is the download folder for uh, downloading packages from WinCat with this tool. So click Save. Now we get a second. Let's see if the modules are already installed. We have to wait a few seconds. Yes, they are installed. Once they are installed, Please click Refresh Reload to reopen the Intune Prep Tool. Thank you. 
it opens again. Now we have to set up a tenant. Uh, there are already two added here. Um, so you can see this is this. Um, so we add a new tenant. We call it also go to more in tune prep to 201. Uh, you can choose here between the Windows Credential Manager and the plain text modus. The plain text modus is less secure, but more reliable. Um, this doesn't always work once you reboot it a, uh, a couple of times. I'm not sure why yet. Click Add Tenant. Um, so you have to be global admin on the tenant um, to get admin consent right away. If you're not a global admin, you can still try it if you have the uh, right rights. Um, click yes, and you have to ask your global admin to consent to the app registration rights. We have to wait a while. Now all done, and the new is the new tenant is added. You can add multiple um, if you use the upload function after creating a package with to, with the, with this tool. You can load the uh, config.csv created by this tool and select one or multiple tenants to up upload to your uh, instant tenant. So um, this was it. All right, now we will create a simple package from an MSI source. Um, always select the customer first, uh, click MSI, open an MSI file here, key pass, 2.57.1 MSI, okay. So um, you can open additional files, the MSC files for the transforms and the MSP files for the update files. Um, this is optional, so if you want to transform the MSC, you can just open the MSC file here right away. And uh, the install string is automatically adjusted. So here it will create an install string for you. This location, this is what you set up here. So um, if you need additional files in your source directory, uh, here, just place them there. Create install script, test install, yes. And then you can see here, we can play it right away and test it. So, so what we'll see here is a possible uninstall string. That's that, it's already filled in for you here with MSI files nowadays. And um, if you like to remove the desktop as, uh, uh, icon, uh, for example, you can place it here under uh, place extra actions here. So also if you want to do some customization, maybe set some uh, registry settings or uh, uh, place a config file in a directory. You can also place it here and just save it and your install file is saved with this line extra added to it. Um, so now we can create the un uninstall script, uh, test uninstall. And click play.
Okay, all done. Um, so, create end to end file. Uh, this tool will not respond while it creates an end to end file. It's a single threaded application, so please hang on. No, it's done already. So, here are the variables used uh, by Intune, the install string, the uninstall string, uh, the detection place, um, the value. And here it will store the config.csv file, which you can use to, uh, uh, in the upload, uh, upload function. Um, but we can also upload the logo here, keep us, and it will uh, upload it to the Intune uh, portal automatically for the company portal. Uh, so now we can use the upload function, load the CSV file, it's located, say, sources, uh, keep us, uh, here are your source files, but now we are looking for the config.csv, this is located here, so, and then we can select, uh, for example, available for all users in the company portal, and select our newly created tenant, we can also select multiple, and click upload to Intune. Click yes, PowerShell pop-up window opens. It uses the uh, PowerShell model, uh, the Win32 app model. And done, it's now available in Intune. Next up, package from an Excel file. Always select customer first. Go to Excel file. Um, you might want to check if you download it from the internet, uh, if it's blocked or not, this one not, okay. So we can open the file and we say VLC 3.0.21, create package directory. Um, here you can place your silent install parameters. It can be something like this, or you can do also this. Create install script. Um, it's not always clear what the silent install parameters are, usually S or something. Uh, with a lot of executables, you can do something like uh, this and then do this. But feel see, oh, I have to make it a command prompt first. Uh, yes. And then do this. Feel C does not uh, show you a pop up with uh, all the silent install parameters. So you have to look it up online. Or you can use the Azure Open AI function, but you have to set it up first in your uh, Azure tenant uh, um, uh, detailed setup info. How to do this is placed under this button. So, there. Okay. Um, so let's get back. We know these are the silent install parameters. This is what he makes of it. So, then we click create install script. Oh, we already done that. Test install. Click play. So, uh, as always, you can uh, remove a desktop link or a start menu link uh, by selecting this so here and place it under extra actions here. Yes, and just save it. Okay. Now we have to uh, continue to uh, uh, look up the uninstall way. You can do that under tools, find uninstall strings, and then look it up maybe. 64-bit registry or the 30-bit and 
There we have it. Okay, so it's a separate executable for the deinstallation of VLC. We can put it here. So, and then also the silent install parameters that you need. Um, you can also, uh, sometimes you install an executable, you look the uninstall parameters up on the tools and uh, you find an MSE access coder for deinstallation, you can use this option. Uh, so create uninstall script, test uninstall, uninstall complete, then click create into main file, click OK, wait a while, tool will not respond while doing this. Here are the variables for an Intune, but you can also uh, upload it right away. So we upload the logo, VLC for the company portal. We use upload. Um, it's located, say sources, and then VLC, this one, output config, and then we select our tenant or tenants. And uh, now let's do this for required upload. Yes, wait a while and it's ready in Intune. Thank you. Next up, we will create a package from a chocolate source. Click chocolate, uh, do VLC again, maybe search. Yes, we can uh, select the VLC install version here. Yes, here is some additional information. So, first of all, we have to create a package directory, VLC, open to one, Serbia, Choco. So, create, and um, I might want to set the language. So, uh, here is um, programs. Yes, so we can do this. So, we have the Dutch one. Uh, we can also add an. Uh, startup for automatically updating with Chocolati. Create, install, and uninstall scripts. We can test it right away. Um, if your endpoint does not have Chocolati installed, it will be automatically installed from in this script. So, um, this loading of the event view will take a while, but uh, there are under application and services logs are the Intune prep tool log, and you can find here all your transcript logs also. So close this, uh, we can test uninstall, uh, but you get the picture. Um, create Intune win. We can upload the logo for a company portal, or we don't in this case, and then just upload. So, uh, here's this one, and then click up. Is this, is this the right one? Wait a second. Fail C, Choco. So, this one. So, select tenant um, so assignment here. Click yes. Wait a while till this continues and your Choco package is uploaded to Intune. Thank you.